Hi everyone, and welcome to another Storytime Saturday. My name is Helena Murray, and today we are going to be reading Monarch Butterfly. This book was provided to us by our friends at Brightside Bookshop. Make sure you visit their store in downtown Flagstaff or online to find this book and other great books. Monarch Butterfly by Gail Gibbons. A monarch butterfly searches for a milkweed plant. The butterfly lands on a leaf. She gently presses a tiny egg onto it. The egg is the beginning of another monarch butterfly. It's summertime in North America. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It's the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterfly lays her egg, she makes it sticky like glue. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats its eggshell, then it begins to eat the milkweed plant. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant because a milkweed leaf will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. When the caterpillar gets too big for its old skin, it breaks out of it and shows the new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats the milkweed leaves. As it grows bigger and bigger, it will molt about five times. Finally, it's a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. When the caterpillar is full-grown, it stops eating and something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of the leaf and drops down headfirst. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. Next, the caterpillar's skin splits open at the back of the head. It continues splitting until it falls off. This new form is called a chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that's wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow about two weeks later, or just before the monarch butterfly comes out of the chrysalis, the chrysalis wiggles. Then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. Its head and legs appear first, and then the abdomen and wings slide out. At first the wings are crumpled up and stuck together, and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slowly, and then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up to the sky. Its colors warn birds and animals that it tastes bad and can make them sick if eaten. Most monarchs are left alone. There are many parts to a butterfly. The scales of the wings make up the colors. The feeler or antenna is for touch and smell. The tube to the mouth is called the proboscis. It sucks up sweet juice called nectar from flowers. The thorax is where the legs and wings are attached. The monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry, hidden under leaves. The monarch butterflies that hatch in the spring and early summer only live for a few weeks. The butterflies that hatch in midsummer will take a long trip to a warmer place because they need warm weather to stay alive. This trip is called migration. The monarch will fly to where its ancestors have always gone, sometimes to the very same tree. Other monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in trees. 
Sometimes they fly up to 12 miles an hour and almost 100 miles in one day. There could be over 1,000 butterflies traveling together. They fly to places such as Florida, South Car Southern California, and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south throughout the winter. Some towns and cities are proud to have the butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. Children dress up for parades in butterfly costumes. Sometimes there's a band and visitors come from all around. Monarchs can cluster together, thousands of them clinging to one tree, a butterfly tree. In the spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of the milkweed plant. The end. At the end of this book, there's a cool section on how to raise a monarch butterfly at home. And there's a little bit more information about monarch butterflies on the very last page. This book is a great introduction to metamorphosis and the butterfly life cycle. I highly recommend it. If you like this book, make sure to find it at Brightside Bookshop, either in person or online. And make sure you visit us here at the Arboretum when we open on May 1st. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.